So one of the things we, we did this year was try to create a lot of interactive elements. So we worked with a lot of partners, socially creative, did this beautiful mural. I think when Jeremy, the founder, had reached out to me and kind of pitched the idea, I, I, I liked it. I had an image of what it looked like. And then when I saw it in person, I was blown away. And that has been one of the most, I would say, busy, busiest areas during the breaks and lunch. There's just always a line. I work for a data visualization company. And so at the end of the day, we think about things. Um, how do you make them look? How does it feel? How, how will other people interpret that? And so sometimes it's, um, you know, it's all about data, but sometimes just thinking about how people visualize things is also really interesting and you get to better understand people based on the way that they visualize something. So I may look at it this as like, oh, it should be this way, but someone else may say, no, it needs to be a different way. So I could really see having um, really deep conversations about how art is left up to interpretation and then data is the thing that makes it uh, more factual. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And it's really interesting to see how it all works together, which I think is a huge statement on, um, you know, I do a lot of diversity and inclusion work. So the fact is we're all very different, but when you work together, it, it comes together to be something pretty beautiful. I was really trying to figure out if there was a, a specific goal. And then I noticed that they're kind of putting it all together, which is really cool. For someone who has done her fair share of events, it's easy to think about like, oh, you just only bring things in that are super relevant to the event, but also this is the kind of thing that gives people a little bit of brain space because you're taking a lot of information in on a day like today. So it's kind of relaxing um, to just take a moment to focus on something else and not try to do something so perfectly. Like we usually try to do everything so perfect at work and just make something, why not? whatever you're comfortable with um, and it really opens you up to conversation because you're you're doing something while you're talking you're learning about the people around you so it was really it was really fun we were talking about what we were what we were doing what we were painting why we were painting it if we were artistic if we were not um, that was that was open up to the conversation um, and also also, what would it be like if you brought this into your work environment? What would it look like? Um, do you think it would open other people up? Um, that kind of thing. It, it's different, you know. If you if you would bring this into a work environment, people might be a little standoffish. But once they get started, I think it would open a lot of conversations up. So we have a lot of people. It's a very family type environment. So I think that this. This would be great. I think it would bring us closer together, um, and you know, get a nice, some nice paintings out of it. And I really like the idea of them all coming together into one piece, like they are here. I think that's amazing. You can always look at it and be like, oh, this is my part, and this is my coworker's part, and this is this person's part. So I think it's really.